Hello, my name is Nick. I'm from RV GroundMate. Talk a little bit about installing the RV GroundMate. What comes in the box is your beam clamp and your RV GroundMate. What we're going to start with is installing our beam clamp. What I have here is a 5 16 wrench a file so we can scrape off a little bit of paint and a hammer for driving in our ground mate. Well let's talk a little bit about where we're going to put this. Most campers are built with an I-beam construction. So that I-beam runs the length of this camper and you can't see it but there's a little lip on the frame so this beam clamp could be mounted anywhere across this camp you just want to make sure that this is connected to the metal frame of the camper now let's take a look up in front here we have several locations we have a little lip right here underneath and if you walk around on this side, we have lips here, and everything here is all welded to the main frame. So anywhere here is going to work. But for today's presentation, to keep it simple and give you the best viewing option, we're just going to mount it to the bumper. So what we're going to do is... Scrape a little paint off the bottom of this bumper, slip the beam clamp over. Now, where this screw is making contact is where we scraped a little bit of the paint off. Now, we put that on. Tighten it up. It's that simple. Now we re remove the supplied wing nut. Get our RV grounding. Now, my recommendation would be to install this in an area where it's ex exposed to the weather. You don't want to put it underneath your camper, okay? We want it kind of, if it's raining, we kind of want it out in the elements. Well, let's pick a good spot. Now I'm leaving a little space here just to make it easy for removal. It doesn't necessarily have to be pounded all the way into the ground. Now we take our wire out, slip it over the bolt, put our wing nut on, Snug it up, and we're done. And what now? What we have now is a low resistance path to ground. Electricity is always going to seek the least path of resistance, so. If you've ever heard of campers that touch their camper and get tingled or shocked, is because now the electricity is flowing through me, which is a high resistance. 
But now the electricity is going to much rather go through your ground mate than it is through you. I hope this helped. Please enjoy your RV ground mate.